I'd spawned on the beach and made my way across the map to a snowy mountain where I'd put down the starter base to an amazing and unique solo tower with not one but two bunkers. Even though I was just a solo, I'd held my own on this server and definitely made some enemies along the way, almost falling victim to an offline raid on my first night. It was now day 3 of this monthly wipe and I was ready to start building the external gatehouses for my soon to be compound and see if I could survive against the nearby clans. the timing. Perfect timing. What oh, fellas? I was out farming some comps when I noticed a new base had popped up near Mining Outpost. It was a pretty interesting design to say the least. Oh my god man, what are they building? I really wanted to get a compound down so I could place some large furnaces and an oil refinery. So I went out for a wood farm and crafted up some high external walls that I'd managed to tech tree to earlier in the morning.
guys doing, man? What are they doing? Ready my gate house. What are they doing, man? <laughs> oh, man. I respect it. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Less nice. Shit. Okay. Nice. Stressing a little bear out. <laughs> Paddle, can I get a base tool paddle? <laughs> you ain't getting no base tool, bros. I promise I won't do anything. You give me a base tool, and we live you alone, and we be chill. But you don't give me a base tool, and we farm up sulfur, and we raid you. I'll go for option option B. Fuck you, n****. <laughs> Even though this guy seemed like a bit of a noob, after speaking like that, I decided raiding him was fair game. After that I called in an airdrop that I'd found, which was pretty trash, and also drew some attention from a familiar name that you guys might recognise. These two players, Jack Mac and Hitting Nodes, were hanging around my base at a similar time, so I assumed they were from the same group. I'd also recognised a similar name in a nearby vending machine, which was broadcasting 1500 explosives, or the equivalent of 150 rockets. Safe to say, I shit my pants and started preparing for the inevitable raid. Gonna use all this high quote. Hundred percent, man. Oh, I'm scared, dude. <laughs> and then I waited, but it never came. And it was late for me, so I sealed up the bunkers and logged off for the night. I don't know if these guys are coming, to be honest. <laughs> Gotta go to bed. It's getting late. <laughs> if 
well, we're gonna seal up the bunkers and yeah, hopefully, hopefully we survive the night. feeling man these guys hanging around my base last night like just before I went to bed They got like, what? They got like nothing. What was under my tier two? Not much. All the sulfur went downstairs. Ah, uh, the base survives its first offline attempt. Okay, I'm just gonna put down like, put down some wooden doors. Before I open up the bunker. <laughs> Man, they actually got like nowhere. It's a bit weird they didn't take all the stone. I guess they're that loaded. It is like two weeks into a monthly. So good, dude. This base is so good, man. I'm a bit sad about my tier two. grind some comps today man. I need to get my tier that <laughs> workbench back. I think the plan for today is I, I want to finish the base 
So yeah, finishing the base involves <laughs> now getting a workbench. I'm so sad that no one's selling them. Like, I would have thought on a monthly there'd be a bunch of tier 2s and tier 3s for sale. So yeah, we got to get a workbench and then I'd, I want to get like a couple turrets and wind turbine. So yeah, we got a bit of work to do. And who knows, if I happen to get lucky and stumble across like an explosive, then I guess we can talk about using my sulfur as well, but kind of feel like that's a bit of a pipe dream at the moment. So I was thinking about like who I would raid if I if I get explosives and like there's not really anyone around here anymore. The big group over there got raided, like the big base with the roof camper. This was going to be my raid target but their high externals have decayed so I don't know if they're online anymore. Oh, we're just gonna check it out. Could still be loaded. This might be worth raiding into if it's uh, decaying. Oh, I might have got raided actually. Yeah, I don't know, man. Might be gone, might be raided. No way, this dude's online. That might be worth going into. Ah, uh, he's already back, damn. He's got a gun. I think I'm just going to make a tier 2. I'm sad about it. What I'm doing here is a little strategy that I've been using a lot lately. And it works really well. Pretty much you place your boxes so that they stick through the garage door when it's closed. And you key lock them so the only way for other people to access your loot is to destroy the garage door. And console rust is so good right now. Like they obviously did a patch for the for the node spawns, 
and like just farming is not a massive chore anymore with the teas like if you do it the right way you don't have to spend the whole wipe farming and yeah the gameplay like it's just it's just in a good place right now Shit. They're raiding, man. That's a full metal kit. One's the grub. No way. Fuck. I went the wrong way. No, I went the wrong way. <laughs> Damn it. Oh shit, he's got AK in there? Oh man, I gotta raid this kid. Oh shit, AK. Go, go, go. I don't know if he just counted, like if he just saved a raid like if he defended against those two guys because I thought one of them had AK initially uh, I can't believe that I turned the wrong way I thought it was like a 2 by 2 to the left there was a random square to the side going on That's crazy. That kid just got destroyed. Depot, my little starter base, my little stash base. It's looking good. I took a break for a little bit, and when I came back, I'd see that one of the bases that I was thinking about raiding had completely decayed. But I did notice that this guy Hex was offline and one of the triangles on his roof was wood and there's nothing I love more than an eco raid so I took a flamer and some machetes over and went to see what I could do. Yes, dude. Okay, let's 
any boxes. Oh my god, they're wood as well. I need to get a ladder and come back. Oh my god, <laughs> both the frames are wood. There wasn't a whole lot of loot in here, but this guy had a tier 3 workbench in a single story stone base. Man, I gotta raid this guy. The only explosives that I'd learned so far were satchel charges, and I absolutely hate raiding with satchels, especially as a solo, but I decided it'd be worth it to craft 10 satchels and go through one of the stone walls. As I was running back to base to do that though, I saw an airdrop in the distance and decided to check it out in the hope of scoring a C4 or some free satchels. Oh. Might have a C4 in it. <laughs> That'd be so perfect. Even like a couple satchels. Fuck, it's probably more than one. Destroyed. Where did he come from? Very confused, man. Did he get the care package? Jesus, man. Just do the side. Satchels. Come on, don't be a slow one. Oh, my God. Oh no, dude. Fuck. 
satchels, man. They take so long. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's it's the statues, but it's also the fact that that guy was just randomly there it was unlucky. Ah, oh, it was loaded. Didn't even get to see it was in the boxes. Sake, man. Fuck me, dude. Well, oh, that's an L. Yeah, messages, dude. I went back a few times to try and win this raid back, but sadly, the counter raider had sealed. And even though this guy was running full AK kit, it turns out he actually needed the tier 3, so he wouldn't trade me for it. That's fair. As I normally do after a tough L, I chilled out and made some base upgrades, and then I spawned at a random bag that I'd placed earlier on in the wipe. This is where I'd find something pretty interesting. Interesting. Bro, I can almost loot that from here. <laughs> One ladder, and you're in there. Yeah, probably, wait, did you get all the farm? That wasn't like the furnace. Nah, bros. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, I forgot about that. I <laughs> thought we like, didn't have a metal barricade, right? so I just like left the furnace going and dipped. Yeah. <laughs> you just like <laughs> ran past the ladder. I was like, man, this guy is just too No, no, chill. I saw the ladder, but I saw the ladder. I just couldn't go grab a hammer. Yeah. <laughs> Were you on the compound or did you like hear me come out? Yeah, I was like hiding outside the wall. Alright, dude, I'm gonna leave you to it. Yeah, we're good. Wait, hold on, wait, one sec. Not gonna lie, you kinda sound like Harvey's GG. Is that like. Is that a true thing? <laughs> it's, a, it's a voice changer. Voice changer? Yeah. Of, yeah. Uh, yeah, alright. <laughs> Seems like a nice dude. After interacting with one of the locals and yoinking all of his furnace loot, 
I raided another small nearby base with a really poorly protected tool cupboard. It really wasn't that loaded, but it did have one thing that I was pretty stoked about. Tier 3. Yes. Ah, that's huge. It's actually kind of big brain. You can like rotate it in front of the door. Yeah, yeah. Hey man. What's up, Pedal? What's going on, Pedal? What's going on? Kind of locked you in our lock, real quick. <laughs> nah, I got a, I got a note. That's all I got. A note. What the can fuck? We, you can we like read? Hobbies? You're a menace with a fucking spear, bro. You killed me when I was at, when I had the board mining outpost. Ah, uh, yeah, I feel bad about that. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> all right, lads. I'm gonna leave you to it. I'm sure I'll see you around. Are you? So, These guys were also super chill, and we ended up doing a trade where I gave them a bunch of low grade to craft me an auto turret. Hey, I appreciate it, man. Not long after that, I'd have to log off for the night. And the next time I logged in, been another day. Yeah, we did. Now, it took a while, man. Looks like we finally got got. Trust OT. Well, rest in pieces, I guess. Although I'd had a great time playing this solo wipe and building an amazing base that would survive against a number of offline raids, I'd finally been taken down while I was asleep. But there was one last thing that I wanted to do before I logged off for the wipe. Oh, 
this one. Get out of here. <laughs> I mean, look, it's not uh, anything compared to what they got from raiding me, but it still feels good, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And the next video I post is going to be the 50,000 subscriber special, which I think is going to turn out pretty amazing. Take it easy guys, I'll see you soon.